Oh my goodness, can you tell that it's election year right now? Elections are literally just days away. But have you also noticed that load shedding has also magically disappeared? And not only that, a whole former speaker of, of the National Assembly of South Africa has driven herself to the police station to be arrested. Well, if that's what they're going to call it. She's driven herself to the police station to then be escorted to the magistrate court to ask for bail and be granted this bail. This, it can only happen when you have money. Imagine skipping the whole going to jail process, waiting 48 hours to appear in court and asking for bail. And the prosecutor also was not opposed to bail. Hello, Mzansi. Welcome back to our channel. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get into this luxurious bail hearing that we witnessed yesterday. So here's what we know so far. First, I used to think that any kind of petty fights are between influencers online over there on the Instagram app. But it seems this all emerges because of a designer handbag, not even a designer handbag, a Ted Baker handbag, which when they raided a home, they were not able to find. And this is because a whistleblower mentioned that between the years 2016 to 2019, she was solicited by the then Minister of Defense for cash bribes from her for contracts and tenders with the South African Defense Forces. This witness alleges that there were two luxury bags as well as wigs <laughs> and some bare skin. I mean, this is absolutely shocking, but Mzansi, let's get into it. South Africa is definitely, definitely a movie. I have a question for you guys. Could this be an ANC stunt to appear to be cleaning up corruption on their end? They do say, there's a saying that says, what you do in darkness will always, always come to light. As you can tell, as you can, as you have heard, these are allegations from between 2016 to 2019, and they're now coming out now during the election year. Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngagula is the former speaker of the National Assembly of South Africa. Listen, she is the country's chief lawmaker, as in, when their laws being made, she is right there signing them in or, you know, she's right there. She's right there in the making of the laws. And now today that very same law has come to put her behind bars. But because, you know, when you know the law, you know how to play the game. So she went to court last week to ask for her arrest to be blocked because she didn't she didn't want to get arrested. She heard rumors that, hey, I might get arrested. So she said, no ways. I'm not. I'm not going to get arrested let me just go ahead and go straight to court i haven't been arrested yet but i'm gonna to go to court to say don't arrest me unfortunately she lost and she lost with cost meaning she's got to pay all the expenses to the lawyers over there and then now she had to hand herself into the police station for a summons to come to court so she wasn't going to be arrested she has a summons that they want her to come to court. I mean, this is some high level, never before seen type of arrest. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have heard of this before. I mean, even Dr. Nandi Pamagurumana didn't even think of this one. I mean, this is some brilliance right here, if I do say so myself. So she had to hand herself into the police in to the police station because they have a summons for her to come to court so that they can charge her to be granted bail. Let me say that again. She had to be summoned to come to court to be charged to be granted bail. Not to apply for bail, mm -mm. to be granted bail. Everything else that we saw today was just a formality. So here's what happens. This was definitely some we're just going to call it some luxury arrest. Um, and she didn't even have to wait. She arrives at the police station and voila, the magistrate court is available to hear this bail application. And then, you know, she went straight right to the front of the line. And then her case was heard. And then she did receive the bail and she has to pay 50,000 rands in bail. And of course, a court date has already been set. Like everything happened like this. Fast, fast, fast. Meanwhile, the Senzo Mayewe trial, we're still waiting just to understand what happened in the Kemi Kelly Kumalu Spaza household. Now, this case has definitely set a precedence. 
one it pays for you to have money it also pays for you to have a high ranking position okay but most importantly it pays for you to know the law if you know the law and you know your rights you can definitely demand that listen i don't need to be held in the cells oh my god let's just go straight to court and please grant me my bail i need to return back to my home and the third precedence is that you can even set the terms of how you are arrested and return home by lunchtime to feed your pet snake as it's alleged over there on the x app so i know i know listen we just report things as they happen it is alleged over there by the x app that she was driving out of her mansion that she was driving out of her mansion and you know a certain user spotted a very very large snake and well the online investigators began their operations over there and their investigations and voila it seems to be confirmed but again this is all alleged now i'm no expert but the main question that's going on in the comment section over there on the x app is why was it out and about was it a ritual Yo. I digress, but you know what? Let's get back on track. You know, the Sons of Mayua case is out on break. I really, really thought we we're going to have a break and that, you know, I was going to pick and choose the content that I wanted to upload, but it seems there is no break in the justice system. South Africa is an absolute movie. You can't be caught sleeping because there's always one or more new cases that are arising on a daily basis. And sadly to say, Meanwhile, Jocelyn remains missing. So she's been charged with 12, 12 counts of corruption and one for money laundering for amounts that are more than 500,000 rands. And she gave, there was a 46 page up for David that happened over there in the courthouse. But basically this is the summary of what happened below. Let me know in the comment section, if you want me to do a deeper dive, if you want a deeper dive, more detailed, um, a video, but I thought, you know, with elections coming up, let me just give you guys a brief summary of what the big deal is that she even had to quit her job. You know, she did say that, um, her only source of income at the time, of course, when she wrote the affidavit it was her job her job as the speaker of the national assembly of south africa the job that she resigned from and no longer currently has and that she was if she had to leave her job she was therefore going to rely on a state pension is she still entitled to a state pension if she resigned comment down below mzansi let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below but i'm curious and i still remain curious has this got anything to do with the elections that are coming up or this is just a sheer, sheer coincidence. And why a Ted Baker bag? Why is the big deal around a Ted Baker bag? Comment down below, Mzansi. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on our next upload.